Hello everybody. So today I will talk about algebra. The topic today is about I need to prove three equations together. So now I will show you how to answer. Question number one. I will use about this one on the right. So we know that secant of theta we can change into 1 over cosine theta. About tan theta, we will change for sine theta over cosine theta. We see that we have cosine theta and cosine theta. We can do about factorization. So we will go about 1 minus psi theta. Later that cosine theta, that will go to numerator. And you go about cosine theta over 1 minus psi theta. Next. I will multiply by 1 plus sine theta on numerator and denominator. So about denominator, we multiply each order, you will got about 1 minus sine theta square. So we have the formula in here. That's e about cosine theta square plus side theta square equals to number one. So we have one minus side theta square. So we put this side theta square in here. Go to the right and you got about cosine theta square equal to one minus side theta square. So we change one minus side theta square into cosine theta square. Now we simplify cosine theta, cosine theta. You will got about 1 plus sine theta divided by cosine theta. 1 divided by cosine theta, you got about secant of theta. Sine theta divided by cosine theta, you will got about tan theta. And this is the answer for the question number one. Now let's go to question number two. I will choose about this one. So we need to change secant y, tan y, and cosecant of y into 1 minus cosine y plus sine y over cosine y. Oh, sorry. Side y in here, not theta. Go side y over one one over side y plus one. Next, one over cos side y, and we have cos side y in here. We can do about factorization.
Next, I will multiply by side y on numerator and denominator. So side y multiplied by 1 over side y, you got about 1. Side y with number 1, you got about side y. And now, we got the final answer. We simplify this one and this one, and you got about psi y over cosine y. And this one is about 10 y. And this is the final answer. Now let's go to the last one. So we have 1 minus cosine theta, 1 plus cosine theta. In this situation, I will choose about this one in here. So we do common denominator. About the first one, we multiply by 1 plus cosine theta. This one is about 1 minus cosine theta. So on denominator, you will got about 1 minus cosine data 1 plus cosine data so we simplify cosine data on numerator and you got about number 2 1 minus cosine data multiplied by 1 plus cosine data you will got about 1 minus cosine theta square So we apply similar the formula on the first one in here. But now we will use about cosine theta. So that means this one we will put in here. And so you got about sine theta square we change in here. Now we have 1 minus cosine theta square we change for sine theta square. And this one you got about 2 cosine theta square. And that's it, the final answer. This is the end. Thank you for watching.